Welcome back to WCCF Tech TV, everyone. This is Keith once again. And look, I enjoy banter with the best of them. I love to see a good back and forth. It's always quite humorous, and it does a good job for marketing. I mean, come on. Who doesn't know Wendy's? I mean, Wendy's Twitter account, really? If you're not familiar with that, I mean, look at this prime example. Wendy's, can you find me the nearest McDonald's? Ha ha ha. Wendy's replies with literally a picture of a trash can. So that's quite comical. Uh, it's not uncommon for other companies to do it as well. I mean, even Sonic somewhere put up a, our ice cream machine works, unlike Mick, uh, never mind. With another one put up the next day, corporate made us take it down, hashtag petty. But seriously, these kind of marketing things are quite humorous. But when you start to see uh, slams and marketing in m not necessarily what is marketing material, but whether this is from Intel's press workshop of June 2017. Now, Computer Base DE posted the entire press deck here, or the workshop deck, which most of it is quite um, informative. It's a lot of information about Intel's new Xeon processor ecosystem, which is great. And as a vendor, that's what you want to do is promote what you what you offer. And while I do understand you want to show what differentiates you from your competitor, this is a quite an interesting set of slides off in here. Um, like one, Intel's here showing their robust ecosystem along with all of their partners, which I get that. That's a great thing that you'd like to you know, market to potential clients, and then they took on AMD's lack of ecosystem, which this is quite understood in the system, in the market. I quite get that, but it goes into uh, a bunch of questions. It actually shows a link to an article that was written right after the launch of Ryzen, like I mean, like right after it. Uh, that's kind of been taken care of since then, so it's interesting to see that in there. And they go through and they show actually like the history of Intel, showing the Zen architecture, the first core in six years, then Zeppelin, then Naples, and how it's all put together. And now some of these that I really get are showing differences between them, and that's what you'd like to show. Outside of that, what I found kind of almost sad was this one slide here showing their data center advantages versus AMD Naples. And I get that it's proven system performance and innovation, architecture, robust software and hardware ecosystem. Like that's get that's good. You want to let your customers or potential customers rather know these things. But this was quite interesting over here is the uh, four glued together desktop die. I didn't really know what to think about that one. Like literally called AMD's solution glued together. I I'm no expert on silicon, you know, silicon design and silicon uh, engineering, but it's a little much to call it glued together. That's a, uh, I don't know, take that one for what you will. I just thought this would be an interesting thing to bring up to see kind of how you guys feel about it when you see companies kind of go at each other like this. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure how to feel about it. I'm not impressed with it. I've actually found more information on the other slides where they actually go through and talk about their architecture rather than spending, I mean, they spent a lot of time talking about their competitor in here, which is odd for Intel especially. But if you want to know more about the new Intel scalable processors, uh, the new Xeon lines, just hit the link in the description. We got an article over there where we break that down. But uh, until next time, this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we'll catch you in the next video.